It's Monday. Phil Lindemann with your Crystal 93 News at Noon. Fewer than 121,000 cars traveled I-70 through Summit this weekend, Friday into Sunday. That is down 11% from last weekend for the biggest loss in months. I-70 hasn't been that slow since the first week in June. August is living up to its reputation as the rainiest month of summer. The crystallized weather station shows nearly 2.3 inches of rain this month, half of it falling in the past five days. That makes it the wettest month since May, but more than a half inch drier than last August. Lake Dillon is dropping again, today measuring 98% full. The reservoir has been at or above capacity for nearly six weeks until now. A 24-year-old woman was killed while riding an ATV north of Breckenridge on Friday. Summit Sheriff confirms the woman was at Rock Island in the Swan River area when she was tossed and pinned under the vehicle. She was riding with a group. Appearing in Summit County Court this afternoon is Charles Drawn, the Glenwood Springs man accused of threatening violence against local teachers and the Summit School's superintendent. Drawn is pleading not guilty. Today's hearing is for pretrial motions. He sees a jury in November. A review by AP News shows 14 of 20 major cities are now using co-responder teams for mental health crisis. That includes Denver, New York, Chicago, and Los Angeles. These teams, which pair clinicians with cops, were pioneered right here in Summit County. The local team, the Star Team, debuted in 2020. Altera Mountain Company is giving Deer Valley a $3.2 billion makeover. This is the biggest project in company history, 16 new chairlifts, 3,700 new acres, and a new village at that skiers-only resort in Utah. A trio of earthquakes rattled southern Colorado over the weekend near the town of Weston on the New Mexico border. Biggest quake was magnitude 4.0, happening early Saturday morning. Two more shook the area late Saturday into Sunday. Summit County wants your help writing the county budget. They are taking applications now for a citizen advisory committee. You can learn more and apply for that committee at FundingSummitCounty.com. That's FundingSummitCounty.com. 38% of the county budget comes from your property taxes. And property taxes, they just went through the roof. Local fire danger remains moderate today in Summit, still with no fire restrictions. In sports, the Rockies beat the Orioles yesterday 4-3. Today, the Rockies host the Braves at 640. The Broncos shut out the Rams at home Saturday, surrounded by $100 million in upgrades. A big chunk of that cash was spent on a scoreboard that towers 72 feet tall. It's the tallest in the NFL. The rest of the money went to cashless concessions, concourse screens and murals, and refurbished luxury suites. And in local sports, brought to you by Cassandra Schultz and Associates with American Family and Dillon. Summit High Football beat Woodland Park on the road Friday, 21 to nothing. On Saturday, volleyball beat Resurrection Christian three sets to one. Boys soccer lost to Steamboat one to nothing. Tigers cross country opened the season at Mountain Vista, where Ella Hagen was second and Joshua Shriver took fifth. Will Bentley finished just outside the top ten. Today, Tigers golf is playing Tiara Rado down in Grand Junction. Phil Lindemann, Crystal 93 News.